Hello. I'm assuming you're the noble that I was assigned to. You are foolish to have opened this door. Well, as you said yourself, you are being threatened. Yes, so opening doors is a big no-no. I don't want to hear your excuses. You are lucky it was me and not the person trying to erase you from existence. Now here, put on this wig. It's not dirty, put it on. There. My name. My name is Catherine. Or that's what you'll be referring to me as. I can't risk you spilling my name out incorrectly. So my name, as far as you know, is Catherine. Well, we have to move. Yes. Your parents are very livid. Yes, you can't stay at their palace. Because that would only put you in more danger. Are you daft? <sighs> yes, that may have been seen as rude. But I prefer it to be blunt. Your life is in danger. Listen, I don't want to do this either. I have more important missions I could be attending to now, but I have to stop them all for you. But that is okay, because it is my job, as a spy, to protect nobles like you. I should probably lay out the mission before I thrust you into an unknown territory. Yes, we are moving. We are moving to the territory north of here. They are expecting you to go south, back to your parents' palace. Going north will help us greatly. That wig you have on is also concealing your identity. You will also have to get rid of your royal attire. Don't worry. You are not going to be treated as some lowly commoner. You are going to be a high citizen. Yes. Middle class. I know you are upper class, but the best I can do is middle class. Not someone who is groveling for money, but not someone who's attention-grabbing. We will be living a modest life. Yes, we. I'm going to be your wife. Not legally. As you are known for being a womanizer, having someone settle down, it isn't in your profile. So they won't be expecting a loving husband and their doubtful wife to be, well, the noble they are searching for. Do you want to live? Then, I expect you'll be okay with this. After all, it is my job to make sure that you are safe. I can play a loving wife. I am a spy. That is my job. As Catherine, I will be. But right now, you are getting on my last nerve. Hmm. Yes. I can see how this would be detrimental to your image. But think about it this way. Your image will not be tainted, for you will assume a new identity. And if you play your part well, as I will, no one will know it was ever you. Therefore, you can keep your image and your head. A win-win. Perfect. I'm glad that you agree that keeping your head between your shoulders 
not on the ground, is a wonderful compromise. Now we must hurry. After all, this place is a prime target. The faster we go, the faster we can get this over with. Perfect. I have a horse and trolley in the back. We must be quiet. What part of quiet do you not understand? We are sneaking to get to the horse and trolley. I don't know how I got roped into this. Yes, I do. I was chosen because I have, well, I haven't failed a mission yet. Nope, and I don't plan on failing now. <sighs> yes, if the time comes, we will have to kiss in public. A womanizer like yourself should not mind. As long as we act like we're happy, no one will suspect a thing. Most people, like yourself, are too self-absorbed to really notice other people. Which is fine by me. It makes my job a lot easier. Here's the horse and trolley. Get in. No, I didn't see anyone, but keep your head down. Yes, that wig may conceal you, but we're too close to your palace. They may suspect that you are trying to escape. What did you even do to make this person so mad at you? You don't know. Hmm. Oh, nothing. Anyway, we should probably talk about our identities a little bit more. After all, we don't want to mess up. People are self-absorbed, but if you mess up your lies, you'll get exposed too quickly. What's my name? Catherine. And what have you decided yours is going to be? Wonderful. Remember that. I'll be calling you my partner. Yes, it would be strange for me to call you by your first name when I'm talking about you. After all, we have just been wed. It is our honeymoon phase, and we've just bought a house together. Yes, we fell in love on a starry night, and ever since then we have been inseparable. It's a very simple story, but one that is believable. My voice will also change. Um, how does this sound? Oh, my loving partner is so amazing. I'm so lucky to have found them. Really? Does that sound good? Yes, I can put emotion in my voice, I just opt not to. Hmm, I see. Well, I'm glad that voice is fitting. No, you do not need to do another voice. I am trained, so don't worry so much. My noble, I assure you, everything is going to be all right. Please, relax, and enjoy the ride. I'll make sure that you stay safe. We're almost there. 